Hi, so I want to talk about this problem today, which is called edit one, which is the set of all strings w pound sign the reverse of x, where the edit distance of these two strings is at most one, and it has to be reversed on one of the two pieces. So what is edit distance? This is a problem from computational biology and other things. And the idea here is that we can have two strings and I want to delete or add a character or substitute a character to try to get to the other one. So like if we have ABC, then one thing that we can do is we can uh, substitute this B for this C. Notice that the rest of it is the same because we're asking at most one here. You can generalize this to any uh, constant number that you wish, but here is at most one. So another thing that we could possibly do is we can like delete one of the characters so we can get B, C if we wanted to. So these two strings are within an edit distance of one be, uh, between each other, but this orange string and the yellow string are not within an edit distance of one because the only thing that I can do here is either I need to add a character to get to here, and if I add a character to this, this thing has no Bs in it. So therefore, these are at least at a distance one, uh, at least at a distance two away. And in fact, it is a distance two because we can uh, we can reverse the transformation that we did. We can delete, add the character A here, and then substitute here. So what I want to show here is that edit one is a context-free language. So you can pretty easily show that this is not regular. Um, because even for edit distance of zero, that is not uh, regular because you would have to have the same string on both sides and that's not regular. Um, so, uh, well, not the same string, but one's the reverse of the other. Okay, I want to show that this is a context-free language and the way that I'm going to do that is with a PDA because it's easier to think about that way. So let's actually try to visualize this. So if we have an edit distance of at most one away, then we have w1, w2, up to wn on the left side of the pound sign. And then on the right side, well, somewhere in here, there's going to be a different character. So let's actually expand this out a little bit. So let's say that we have wi minus 1, wi, wi plus 1, all the way to wn. And then on the right side, we're going to have the reverse of this, except at a particular character i. If it is at a distance of 1, then, uh, sorry, at a distance of 0, then they must be, one of the strings is the reverse of the other, and we'll be able to handle that. Let's assume that we do have a, at a distance of 1. So I'm going to assume at this character position i, that uh, some edit happened. And let's say that it was a deletion. So if it was a deletion, then on the right side, we better see Wn going down until we get to i plus 1 because it's in reverse order. We skip over Wi, and then we go straight to i minus 1, and then all the way back down to 1. So that is one possibility. Another possibility is that we substitute in a character. So another possibility is we go to i plus 1, and then we substitute in a character, uh, let's say A right here, and then we're going to have WI minus 1 all the way down to 1 again. So we substituted WI for this A, so we can change the character if we want to. Oops, didn't mean to change the colors. So the other possibility is that we actually uh, inserted a character right here. So if we inserted a character, let's say we insert an A, so let's say that we insert an A here, then we must have W I after it, and then I minus one, and then down to W one. So those are the three possibilities that could occur with a string on the left side. And also, this could uh, uh, type of change can occur anywhere in the entire string. It's not just at a particular place. So that's why we use non-deterministic uh, uh, PDAs here. Maybe this could be done with a deterministic PDA. In fact, I'm pretty sure it can't, but it might be. I don't know the answer. But we can certainly do it with a non-deterministic PDA. So the idea is, let's push all of this stuff on the left side onto the stack. When we hit the pound sign, we're done pushing stuff. And then we're going to start popping off stuff here. So what we'll see is, okay, well, 
uh, all of the stuff up to a certain point must be exactly the same as what we just pushed on because it's the reverse on the right side. And then when the change happens, we'll take note of what all the possible changes are. And then after that, once the change occurs, then the stack contents on over here, so uh, the part that's underlined in green, is going to be the same as what is over in the green over here. And the stuff that's in the purple right here is going to be the same on the right side. So the purple's going to match up with the stack and the green's going to match up with the stack. The things that are different, we're going to be able to handle based off whether something was, uh, whether something like WI was on the stack or if we may handle the case of whether there's nothing happening, in which case we'll just read another character, we'll handle all those possibilities. So we, you can extend this to any alphabet that you wish. So I'm just gonna work with uh, A, B, and C. Um, but again, this could be any alphabet. So uh, like with all PDAs, we're going to push on some character, special character at the beginning. So I'm going to push on the dollar sign, just like we've done before. And then what I'm going to do here in Q1 is I'm just going to push everything on the left side. So uh, no, no uh, rhyme or reason to it other than getting the things on the stack. So because every characters are A's, B's, and C's, I'm going to push all of those on. All right, so then now we're going to encounter the pound sign, and I don't want to do anything with the stack there, so I'm not going to touch the stack. So then now uh, I'm going to have a state which is I'm going to call Q green. Oh, oh, no, sorry, it's the other way around, because the purple is what I'm going to encounter first on the right side. I should have done it in purple, so let's do Q purple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to match... Of what's being read on the right side to the stuff that was just pushed on. So it's going to be very similar to what we're doing here. Instead of pushing, we're going to be popping. So as I read an A, I'm going to pop one off the stack in tandem. B's with B's, C's with C's. All right, so now we need to figure out what to do. So let's actually handle the the edit right here. And it's going to be a big transition. Lots of things happening here. So let's handle insertions first because that's an easy thing to do. So if we're inserting something here, then that means that uh, it did, this A over here did not correspond to anything over here. So because for insertion, this WI is going to match up with the WI that's on the stack. So for insertion, we're not going to uh, touch the stack at all. So we can insert any character we want. So those are going to be A, Epsilon, Epsilon, and similarly with Bs. If I can draw a B, that'd be good. So we're going to do something very similar for uh, kind of like what we did here, but we're not touching the stack here because we're doing insertions. So let's actually write that. So these guys are insertion. So then now let's do uh, deletion. So for deletion, then that means that this WI should just be popped off of the stack completely um, because uh, for deletion, it does not correspond to what we need to pop when we are looking at the right side here. So for deletion, we're going to have uh, three more transitions, but here we're going to not read anything and just pop uh, one character off the stack. So we're gonna, just going to pop one character, and it can, again could be any character. So we'll just pop those off, and those correspond to deletion. And then now we need to figure out what substitution will look like. So we'll assume without loss of generality that if we are doing a substitution, it's a different character than what was uh, there before. So if WI was an A, uh, then the character that appears over here for the substitution will be either a B or a C. So for that, what we're going to do is if we see an A on the right side, then uh, we better have seen a B or a C on the stack before. So we'll have a transition that 
it looks like this, one that looks like this, and then four more. So we'll have B, A goes to epsilon, B, C goes to epsilon. I told you there's a lot of transitions. C, A goes to epsilon, C, B goes to epsilon. So, so all of these are handling substitution. I'll just say sub. So uh, yeah, here we're uh, handling when we read something on the right side, we're reading on the right side, and the thing that we have, did see on the left side in the matching position is a different character than what we saw on the right side. So this really is substitution. I'm not pushing anything on the stack ever at, uh, past this point right here uh, because we're only handling edit distance of one. All right, so then now let's modify this transition to be a little longer. So then now what we need to do is to, well, the, the edit happened. So now we got to match the rest of it. So now we have that green state I mentioned. So let's say Q green. And we're going to do identically the same thing that we did in the purple state. So we're going to have A, A goes to epsilon, B, B, and C, C. All right. Well, then, if everything matched up correctly, we should have only the dollar sign on the stack. So let's go to a final state doing that. So epsilon dollar sign, and you can push anything. It doesn't matter. OK, so then now that handles when the edit distance is exactly 1. Let's handle when it's 0. So if it's 0, then that means that whatever we push on here will be popped here. So non-deterministically, we can say, oh, if we're right here and we're done reading the input, let's just go over to the final state after popping the dollar sign off. So we can just shortcut our way around uh, for the very same transition as we did before. So this, this one is for when it's edit distance one. This vertical one is when we have edit distance of zero. Um, because we can only get down to the, to the pound sign if everything that was pushed it was popped right here. Because this doesn't pop anything or push anything. So this really does get at a distance of zero. This handles all the possibilities of, of changing a character, either deleting, at, substituting, or inserting. And then we match on either side of that edit wherever it occurs. So this really exploits the non-determinism of PDAs very, very well. And it's a nice problem. Um, try to generalize this to uh, any number of edits that you wish. So like if you say 100 edits, you can actually make a PDA for 100 edits. But try to think about how you would do it. It's very similar to this approach, though. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave comments about edit distance down into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.